Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Night Face. So I just finished watching episode two of Game of Thrones season eight, the final season, and uh, I was, you know, running around trying to, <laughs> you know, edit this together. So there will be like a full, well, a ten minute, you know, condensed edited reaction of the Game of Thrones episode two. Yeah, so stay tuned for that and a review as well. Well, I'm gonna check out the episode three preview that I did not see because I paused it to attend to my stuff. <laughs> All right, so here we go. The Battle of Winterfell. I'm so hyped. This is crazy. Endgame's coming out this Thursday. And then we got this Sunday. Just, oh, my God. The, the Endgame is truly here. So let's just check this out. Here we go. Boom. I expect a lot of deaths. Let's put the truth in the face. Oh, man. Let's go. Yeah. The Night King is coming. Oh, the dragon! The dead are already here. <sighs> oh shit, Brienne's on a charge! <laughs> oh yo, I am so hyped. Oh my god, this this is gonna be the battle that tops all the battles we've seen on Game of Thrones. Mark my words, because. The director of Battle of the Bastards and Winds of Winter and Hard Home is directing this one. I know he is. That's why I knew the epic battle was going to happen in episode three. You know, some people are complaining, well, episode one didn't have enough action. And, you know, episode two lacked action. And because this is all momentum building to this episode. It's going to be like, what, a minute? Like a minute? No, no. <laughs> it's going to be an hour and a half long, people. That's like movie quality, epic Lord of the Rings. Type battle shit! Oh my god, yo. Let's go. Yeah, I expect a lot of deaths. A lot of people are gonna die. If you don't think no one's gonna die, then yeah, you clearly haven't been paying attention to this. This is not gonna have a happy ending, yo. I expect some of our favorite characters to die, unfortunately. I don't want Arya to die or Jon Snow or you know any of the Starks or my boy Tyrion Lannister, but you never know. It's all led to this. Yo, this gets me so hyped. Like, the hype level's, like, right there with Endgame. Like, it's, yo, it's gonna be nuts. It's gonna be crazy. I hope enough of them survive. But the, the crazy thing is, I assume you watched the episode. We're gonna talk spoilers here. But, like, I assume whoever survives is gonna have to fight Cersei's army and the Golden Company now. And, oh, shit. Like, are they even gonna be able to defeat the Night King? Or is he just gonna... You know, pull, pull a Super Mario Brothers world, like, you know, with the whistle. And he's just going to hop over to King's Landing with the Ice Dragon and say, fuck it, deuces, I'm out. I'm not even going to waste my time on y'all because, I mean, why wouldn't he do that? I don't know. But it's a possibility they might actually be able to end the war. They just have to kill him, like John said. Just the Night King. But And he, he, has, he wants to kill Bran. That's the thing. He's like, I guess he has to kill Bran. Bran tried to explain it, or, you know, with his three-eyed raven weirdness and all that shit. But, yeah, it's going to be epic. Yo, I can't wait. I'm so scared, though. Everyone had a lot of good, like, genuine moments in this episode. Like, everyone scratched a lot of things off their bucket list. So that gets me so worried. You know, Arya and Gendry banging. That was a great moment, but it might be their last moments. What the fuck? Yeah, so post your comments down below. Let me know if you've seen the second episode, if you're looking forward to this Third episode, what are your predictions? Who do you think is going to die? Who do you think is going to survive? Let me know. Thanks for watching as always. If you're new to my channel, make sure you give this video a like. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.